Hello guys, so today I wanted to do a quick project share of another items or a couple of other things that I made using the products that I received from Baby Craft. Um, so as you can see, I still have tons of product to use and I showed you before the earrings that I made in the bracelet, um, which were really, really great idea. My daughters love their earrings and um, you know, they're pretty basic, but they're cute. And then also the bracelet that I gifted was, um, you know, super fun. So um, another thing or one of the reasons too that I wanted to get different beads and things is because I wanted to make charms like you know how people make those chunky charms. Um, so I made a few purse charms. These are not super chunky but I just kind of went ahead um, again with the same idea of using the supplies that I got. Um, I think I am going to be having to buy a couple of other things so that way I can make those chunky charms um, you know really chunky but um this is very simple i wanted to make it so i used one of these little um clasps and these ones um I, it's a from a package that i bought from amazon a long time ago but i believe bb um, bb crafts also has some so you can definitely find them there and then i used a little um faux leather thing that i uh from the little spools that i had and um you know i made little big like tassel with it i created some little charms with it and then these um i think it's called a pin or these little pins were the ones that were included in the kit um they're you know the two longest ones so this there was only two on this size and then it also had a lot of this chain of these pieces of chain now this chain is pretty um dainty and i mean it obvious for obvious reasons because it was included on a kit that is to make earrings so you know it's very dainty so that way it doesn't look too bad but I decided to add just a little bit there to kind of hang and again I use one of the little earring pieces I still have a few here this one right here that's meant to be an earring and here's an earring that they created on the on the little sheet that they um, they provided you can see this one right here and here they used um, you know, a combination of that earring piece with some of the beads and the chain. Those are pretty, um, but I know that those are going to take me a little bit longer or a little bit more work. So I'll have to wait to work on that and, you know, maybe work myself up to it. Here's another one that they made with um, those kind of like a little tassel with the little chains. And like I said, because they're dainty, you could do that and make them. But I wanted to make um, little charms like this. So I made this little purse clip. Which I think is very pretty and it kind of combined the colors of the purple um this darker purple with the beads that were included in this kit so some purples and blues and then the little diamonds here I thought it was very pretty and then I made a couple more so this one and this is another one exactly like this so I showed a couple of them to my this one and the other one um I showed them to someone that I was going to gift it to and she liked this one so I went ahead and made another one um on the colors that she mostly uses so that she would want to wear but um th the same thing I put one of these crystal um crystal beads and then another one over here and then two of the black ones to kind of tie the colors and then for this one I actually ended up putting the chain or leaving the chain a little bit longer um, I thought that, I don't know if you guys can see, it's a little hard to put it um, like that, but this one's a little bit longer, so I thought it looked pretty, um, and yeah, it's pretty much the same concept of that uh, that little purse charm, and then another one, and this was my attempt to do a chunky charm slash uh, purse charm, so this one, I use a combination of these beads and um, the ones that were included in the kit, and obviously I use a lot of different ones of these little sizes, so I use a large one here and then this little charm I had it from a set that I got from Hobby Lobby a while back and I think this one was from the paper studio. So it has little feathers and little arrows. And then I created this um, little dangly charm using some beads that I had from my stash and one from the kit here. And then same with this one. So I did a combination of some beads that I had, some uh, what are these called? glass beads and then these little pearl beads from my... Um, stash now this longer one I actually made it with um, some wire that I had and uh, because you know the longest ones that I had were these ones and there was only two so I made this one like that and then I used this chain from it was actually like a necklace that I was not gonna wear it came with like 
I don't know what it was, but it was, um, I think it was maybe one of my daughter's outfits or something. They're not going to use it. So I took the chain and I made it into this little charm. And now it's not super chunky, but I thought that this one for, you know, because of how it had um, everything, I thought it looked very pretty. So I added two different colors and I love this um, green, like a teal green color. I love it. So I thought it matched perfectly with the greens and blues here. And I made this different little dangly thing. So I made this one and this one. So this is a very simple one. This one is using some of the extra beads and stuff. And then this one was the ones I had for my stash. Look at this one. I love this one. It matches perfectly with this color. Super pretty. And just, you know, made different dangly ones. And then this is some of the tassels that I've been making. Um... Like I told you, I've just been into tassel making lately. So when I had this, I, it was absolutely awesome that I wanted to make it for. But yeah, I just put those little charms here. And I thought that they, it looks very pretty. And I love the colors there. So you can make, you know, whatever. And I love that the, the pack of the little... Um, the little felt thing is that I have. It has 25 different colors. So I have plenty to use and choose from when I am making more more of these because I am definitely going to be making more and I can combine it with the colors that I have here. Now, the little beads, I don't have a lot of different colors, but I'm just, you know, going to have to be getting some soon and so I can keep making these little charms, but they're super pretty. But anyway, I wanted to share with you guys um, the other projects or a couple of other projects that I created using the BB Craft products that I got. And just remember that just because something is intended to be used for something like earrings, you don't have to use it for that. You could use it for anything. So always find different uses for items. Um, you know, like I did on my last video, I used this one for a bracelet. So you could do whatever, whatever you want. And I still have quite a few of these little pins. Um, one thing I think I have forgotten to uh, mention, this one has actually a lot of different sizes and it has quite a few of them. So, um, you know, all of the little, the longer ones that I use here, I use these ones here. And I also use some of the, oh, this one's came out of the baggie, but I use some of these, I think these are called eye pins. So they look like little nails, but they're not pointy. So they have this little flat head on the side. So I did those, but yeah, um... Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoy this, enjoy this project share and, um, you know, go give it a try. Remember to visit BB Craft. You know, they sponsor my video of when I got this. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it and go ahead and check them out. I am going to be um, leaving a link below just in case. And then also, if you want to see the other projects that I created, go ahead and visit uh, my previous video. And I could also link it if you're interested. But um, anyway, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.